Welcome back to part four of our Let's Play here. We've just located the wine cellar key on this desk over here. Something made a terrible, awful noise over here. And now we're going to keep going and probably hit the wine cellar. And wait just a second. Because I don't think that door was open before. I guess whatever made that sound has now opened the door for me. Okay. Real careful now. I think I've been here because I remember lighting that. Meaning I've probably been to both of these rooms. Study, yes. And this old tunnel. Yep. Okay, so I've escaped caving in that area. And maybe now we can. Oh my god! Oh no, no. What the hell was that? Okay, the music is changing meaning. I am probably in serious trouble. I'm just gonna hide over here. Alright, the music's gone by Tito chatting. See, now this, I guess I have to strike a balance between remaining unseen and making sure my guy doesn't go absolutely insane. So how's the sound I need to? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. <laughs> okay, so we're slowly getting worse. I think before I have a headache of some sort. So I'd like to go through here, but not if things are going to make sounds like that. I think back here was the cave in, right? I'm pretty sure I went to this area. I'll just run over here and make sure I'm okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! Whoa! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Okay. My dog is currently staring at me like, I'm going insane. I just might be over here. This is in a box. Oh. Wow. That... Oh. <laughs> Apparently I hallucinated that. I guess it's the same as the cockroaches, except that whatever that thing was looked a little more dangerous than cockroaches. Um, it's still about, I guess, four in the morning over here, so... It's really a terrible time to run into things like that. It's a self-playing piano, and I think, God, I hope I'm done with this area. Nothing cool on this piano, right? No. Oh, God, why did I turn around? <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? Okay, you know what? That sounded like it came from over there, so I think the exit is this way. Oh, Jesus. Nope, just running, just running. Not gonna look. And the piano started playing itself again. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so... Just pray I don't have to go back into that area. Oh! Now what's happening? What the hell? Let's make sure... Alright. Still standing here, so that's okay. Oh! Okay, don't want to walk into that stuff. This looks almost like the stuff that was on the doors. The one blocking my path in the main door. Just run with this. Just... Okay. Doesn't seem to have hurt my health. I don't know if there's any way to recover health, but I'd like not to need to find out. This is still blocked. Alright, and as far as I know, there's nothing that I've done that would affect what's down there. So let's go over here. This is where I heard... Let's see. What saw I left? Okay. This is where I've heard the woman's screams from before. Uh... I don't know if I want to go down here, but right, let's start with the laboratory. Since the one's where I have the key. And I don't know what kind of reasoning that is, but we'll go to the laboratory first. And it's very, very dark in here. Wow. Okay. So again, I don't want to keep my light on too much, A, to save oil, and B, just so nothing spots me. But obviously I like not to remain in darkness for too long either. I think... Alright, let me have a look around. It doesn't appear to be anything. <laughs> just when I say that. I'm not sure what that noise is, but it's... I've heard that a few times in the main hall of the castle. I'm not really sure what it was, but... 
I don't like it. And there it is again. Okay. Oh, God. Sound is now dangerously low. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. That says it all. Our sanity is now at dot dot dot. Stay in the light and try to make progress. And I notice now that I can't get back to a normal equilibrium or whatever you would call it. The screen is shaking no matter what I do. <sighs> Alright, well, this wasn't exactly how I was hoping this to go. Health is still fine, but again, I'd like to be able to see clearly and move. It's getting a little bit better. Things are not blurring together. I'm hearing a lot of really terrible noises. You have footsteps and squeaks and cockroaches and whatnot. I did say they've done a great job with the happiness here. It's not, again, it hasn't been so far. It's just crap popping out and scaring you. It's been very heavy on the atmosphere, which is overall far more scary than just having things jump out at you all the time. Because eventually you learn to expect that, whereas here it's more a matter of always being tense and on edge. This is getting worse. No, maybe that's the worst it can go, but movement is not, not doing too well. <laughs> so with that in mind... It's so cold. What? It's so cold. It sounded vaguely like Daniel voice, so maybe that's a small flashback. Stop wasting my oil here. So now that I've gone completely nuts, let's descend the unlit staircase. Oh good. Okay, there's a chandelier here. That's something. Can I stand near this? Water. Whoa! No. Okay, whatever that is. I get near it. It doesn't look like it's coming up though, which is nice. But that's certainly not gonna help Daniel's sanity. Let me light whatever we can here. Let's make it as bright as possible in here. Okay, can I open these? No, no. Something's beneath here. Okay. Got another tinderbox. This looks openable. Okay. It's really getting harder to click to as sanity drains. I'll stay here for a couple seconds. <clears throat> And overall, having played the game now for, I guess, approaching an hour, um, this is certainly the scariest game I've ever played. I don't play horror games often, I do enjoy them, but <laughs> this has taken the cake, certainly. This doesn't seem to be getting much better. Alright. Uh, there should be more Kuprak. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. So, <clears throat> if memory serves correctly, those are chemicals of some sort, which would make sense, I guess, since we're in the laboratory. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and Orpiment are a given, and the Cuprite binds them well. This time I will tempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue re reacts especially violently to the solution, and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so I guess that'd be an offshoot of whatever experiment was taking place in the flesh. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Okay, so I'd imagine that might, right here, the powerful acid tied to dissolve whatever organic tissue, because I believe he did mention something organic compound here. Organic tissue reacts, especially if, yeah. Okay, so I'd imagine that's going to be our solution. And chemistry pot, that should help. And my screen is now... Good, much better. Okay. It's nice picking something up and not hearing a monster. Box. Let's wipe this side. I don't get to hear this anymore. What is this? 
One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them, they lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, so it's, I guess it's not a note I can pick up. I'm not sure what that is. It's some sort of diary from whoever was working at that desk. I don't know, I suppose that'll make sense at some point. This looks like an early chemistry set. Four different chemicals. Okay, so that might be the ones mentioned in the note. Okay. Chemical relocation. I do find I'm reading four more of these notes than the actual narrators here. Anyway, the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. Chemical ingredients and move the laboratory to the wine cellar. Okay, the wine cellar is conveniently the place I got the key to when we were exploring the archives, and I'd imagine that's where I need to go next. Oh. Okay. And this just got very red. I don't see anything else happening, thank god. I'm just gonna run the hell out of here and hope for the best. Like I said, it's very dark down here. Um, I will check the video to make sure it's still visible. If not, I can always re-upload this. But I imagine it should be okay. Should be alright. Okay. I'm gonna have the key, so I've still got to take one more step. There we go. And that blue screen seems nice. Slightly like, okay. Other than that little bit, we're okay. Gazing into the dark domed ceiling. Not sure what that means. Oh, yes. Again, it's very dark in here. I'm going to see if I can find something to light. I can't. Anyway, my time is just about up for this video as well. So we'll explore the wine cellar in the next part, and I will see you back for that shortly.